Greetings from Texas. We're going to do some cast iron fried chicken. Um, I have five chicken legs here. And um, in preparation, they are thawed out. They're very cold. I took them out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to soak them in a brine solution for about an hour uh, before I do the final prep and cooking. So for the brine, I'm just going to add two cups of water. Just tap water. This will help bring the temperature of the chicken up. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of salt. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit out at room temperature for about an hour. Rinse it off and then I'll add my spices before we fry it. All right, now we're gonna do our uh, breading spice mixture. So here, in here I have a cup of flour. After I drain and rinse the chicken, I'll just toss them in here, just kind of like shake and bake. So, um, I'm going to start off basically with salt. We're going to do one and a half teaspoons of salt. We're going to do one. teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to do crushed red pepper. Just about half a teaspoon. Okay, we're going to do black pepper. We're going to do teaspoons of black pepper, we have garlic powder, we do one and a half teaspoons of that, we got onion powder, we're going to do one teaspoon of that. For color, teaspoon of paprika and we're going to add about a teaspoon of cumin shake it all up paprika will give it a, a darker color All right, it's all ready to go. All right, we're out here in my campground. Uh, it's pretty windy today, so I'm not gonna do a regular fire. Go to oil going. Um, careful with the oil with cast iron. You wanna kinda country fry it, so you don't want it more than halfway. The oil's gonna get displaced uh, by the chicken. Um, I need to level this dude off a little bit. There we go. All right. Um, chicken is rinsed. Let's go ahead and Put it in the seasoning.
The reason I use that baking powder is it uh, does have a chemical reaction with the skin, apparently. I do it when I oven bake chicken. It does give it a crispier texture. And then all we're gonna do is just coat our chicken really well. And we'll wait for our oil to get up to temperature. Let me see if I can make a little kind of a wind right here. Okay, doing a little prep work. I just took, um, I don't have a wire rack out here to drain the chicken. Um, a lot of people put it on paper towels, but um, that ends up, if you don't have air getting underneath, it will kind of steam and get soggy. So um, I normally drain it on a, after it's done cooking on a wire rack. Here I just took up some foil, so when I put the chicken down, it'll elevate it. But, air get underneath and um, maintain its crispiness. So to check to see if the oil's ready, you can see it start to shimmer. I normally use a chopstick or a bamboo skewer. And we got some bubble action going. So I think the oil's ready. Shake off the excess off your chicken. Carefully place it in the oil. Watch your oil level. going to start off with three. Don't worry, when you fry stuff, it's going to stay hot for a long time. So don't be in a big rush. Cook it in small batches, you're better off. Check it in about five, six minutes. Right, I'm gonna see if I can fit one more chicken. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's go ahead and turn this chicken over. Since we're not using any kind of basket or anything, the um, chicken will get a tendency to brown where it's contacting the bottom of the pan. That's no big deal. That's uh, caramelization, just extra flavor. 
All right, I'm kind of rotating the chicken around a little bit. See the paprika gets a that nice dark color. Okay, it's been about 12 minutes. Just want to make sure there's no more blood. Go ahead and take these first three pieces out. Now let's put our last piece in. Let it rest for about at least 10 minutes cool off and finish carryover cooking. Okay, our last piece is done. I'm gonna let it rest for, uh... okay. We're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes. My first job was in a um, fish and chip restaurant. And we used to use the oil, we'd filter it. And you can filter it through a um, paper coffee filter and reuse it, or you can take it. I've made makeshift oil lamps, or you can use it to help uh, boost or start a fire. Just put it on a paper towel. Okay, it's that time. Let's give it a try. Mmm, nice and juicy. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I have to put some stuff away. It's supposed to storm tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed watching me cook cast iron fried chicken.